SGA vision statement. Man of God. Viram Day. A leading transformational leadership institution with a unique Gabrielian culture of discipline, socially responsible, interdependent, functionally productive, godly individuals in reaching the marginalized to thrive in the global community. See the SGA mission statement. See the SGA commits itself to give affordable, transformative, psychologically innovative, quality education and a caring service that makes a difference towards self-actualization. Philosophy commits and dedicates itself to serve God and fellow man always. Goal to transform students to become genuine and true-blooded Gabrielians. Gabrielian identities punctual, industrious, good character, good listener, grateful, thankful, helpful, honest, and humble with integrity. Core values. Love, peace and respect. Culture. Excellence, service, honesty, and truth. Guiding ethics. Think good thoughts, say good word, and do good things. Attitude. We care. Motto. One mind, one heart, one school. Tagline. We care, your legacy to share. pagbabay sa amin at pagbibigay ng malusog na pangangatawan. Nawa po ay matapos na ang pandemyang ito at gumaling na ang mga may sakit. Lalong-lalong na po ang mga tinamaan ng COVID-19. Kami po ay humihiling na sanay maging mabuti na ang sitwasyon at kami rin po ay humihingi ng kapatawaran sa aming mga nagawang kasalanan sa aming mga kapatid sa kapwa o pamilya yun lamang po at maraming salamat sa ngala ng ama na anak ng Espiritu Santo at I can see
mga kababayan ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. maging malakas, masipag, at marangal. Dahil mahal ko ang Pilipinas, diringgin ko ang payo ng aking magulang. Susundin ko ang tuntunin ng paaralan. Tutuparin ko ang tungkulin ng mamamayang makabayan, naglilingkod, nag-aaral, at nagdarasal ng buong katapatan. Iaalay ko ang aking buhay, pangarap, Pagsisikap sa Bansang Pilipinas. CBSGA Vision.
CDSGA vision statement. Man of God, Viram Day. A leading transformational leadership institution with a unique Gabrielian culture of discipline, socially responsible, interdependent, functionally productive, godly individuals in reaching the marginalized to thrive in the global community. CDSGA mission statement. CDSGA commits itself to give affordable, transformative, psychologically innovative, quality education and a caring service that makes a difference towards self-actualization. Philosophy Commits and dedicates itself to serve God and fellow man always. Goal To transform students to become genuine and true-blooded Gabrielians. Gabrielian identities Punctual, industrious, good character, good listener, grateful, thankful, helpful, honest, and humble with integrity. Core values. Love, peace and respect. Culture. Excellence, service, honesty, and truth. Guiding ethics. Think good thoughts, say good word, and do good things. Attitude. We care. Motto. One mind, one heart, one school. Tagline. We care, your legacy to share. Pleasant morning to the parents and founders of CDSGA, Dr. Gab and Lucina Oriarte, to Dr. Charles and to the Oriarte family, to the deans, professors, teachers, staffs, and students. So, I'm Abigail Rose Urbano po. I am a graduate of CDSGA from elementary to college. And I can really say that I'm a product of our beloved alma mater. So, today's sharing would be about Rethinking our purpose. So there is a tourist who visited an oil refinery. And this tourist po, tinuro sa kanya kung paano, uh, kung paano nag-work yung isang oil refinery, kung paano na yung crude oil ay tinatransform into more useful products just like petroleum and gasoline. But after the trip, ang sabi niya doon sa nag-tour sa kanya, bakit ganun? Kompleto nga, napakita niyo sa kanya yung buong process pero bakit pero bakit uh, hindi ko nakita yung shipping department? Kasi after yung magawa yung mga products na yan, saan yung napupunta? And then, di ba dapat ship out nyo siya para mapakinabangan? So, sabi nung may-ari ng oil refinery, I'm sorry, but we don't have a shipping department. Yung, nag, yung napoproduce ng oil refinery na to, yun din yung ginagamit namin to keep the oil refinery going. Okay, so isn't it weird na then what what then is the purpose of the oil refinery? Para lang ipakita yung process ng pagre-refine ng oil and then after that wala na, hindi na siya hindi na siya magiging kapakipakinabang sa iba. So have we experienced waking up and then realizing that we lost our motivation to continue our jobs or our schooling? Have we ever been into a page wherein you're just striving to survive every day? To get the job done and just meet the deadlines? So this oil refinery just operates for the purpose of surviving or sustaining itself. And unknowingly, we are sometimes like the oil refinery. We oftentimes feel discouraged with what we do because as it becomes just a routine, we forget that our main purpose is service. Nor yard the family started our institution in the name of service. And we can see it in every life that is transformed, in morals that are restored. And God placed us where we are now because we all have a purpose. So if we are a leader, a teacher, or a student, let us rethink our purpose. So do not, lot, do not let everyday pass 
that you you just do your job for the sake of it. Because we are all vessels and we are filled to fail. Especially at this time of pandemic, we are not trying to cope with the challenges of the new normal just to continue our operation or just to have jobs that will sustain us financially or grades that will maintain our academic performance. So this is a reminder to our uh, to our educators and to our learners. Uh, we, uh, we as stakeholders in the field of education must continue to work because the learners need us, because the next generation need us. So if just like that oil refinery, we just exert our energy into ourselves and just use it to serve ourselves, we will soon get tired. We will soon wear out. But if we do it in the name of service, for the sake of the people who will benefit from the light that we continually spread, then we will be able to do everything with love. So this is one of the things that I learned as a Gabrielian, that I would not just do the work just to meet the deadline, but I will try to do my best in order not to serve myself, but to serve other people. And that is what I am doing now as a teacher and bilang tumutulong din po sa uh, pagmamanage ng aming maliit na paaralan. And talagang napakarami, napakarami kong natutunan sa CBSGA that hindi tayo dapat maging kagaya ng oil refinery na uh, nag-work lang for the sake of it, na nag-aaral lang for the sake of it. We should always remember that the true essence of everything is yung service, yung love. Kasi that is how we pay back to our Creator. That's how we give Him gratitude for creating us. Because all of us are created for a certain purpose. So you are placed in your, um, in your place right now because that is where God wants you to be. That is where your Creator wants you to be. So once again, let us rethink our purpose today. Let us not be like that oil refinery that is just self-serving. Kasi sometimes, di ba, we feel really discouraged. We feel really worn out. Whenever we just focus on ourselves. Whenever we just focus on continually encouraging ourselves. On trying to be happy. But, if we, if we do things if in the service of other people, if we do it for the benefit of our community, for the benefit of the learners, for the benefit of our fellow men, doon po natin makikita talaga yung happiness. So, yun lang po sa ang may share ko sa araw na ito. And, I'm really glad to be back even just virtually, even through this virtual flag raising ceremony. And, ayun lang po, maraming salamat mga co-Gabrellians. Have a good day and God bless. Sana po mabuhay ako kasi po hindi pa ayos yung mga anak ko. Sobrang sakit yan sa amin na nawala yung bahay namin. Eh wala talaga ibang parang kung hindi na doon sa evacuate. 
eh, wala din naman kaming ano dyan, kamag-anak na pwede masilungan. Masakit din para sa akin na na ina, imbis na sa bahay kami, wala, nasa bakit center kami. Pag nag-iisa na lang ako, tumutuloy yung lunga ko. Hindi lang ang tahanan ni na Albert at Lisa ang tinangay ng baha. Inano din nito ang kanilang mga pangarap at ang pangako sana ng isang magandang bukas. Kaya naman susubukan po ng aming team na matulungan silang makabangon mula sa matinding trahedya nito. Hi Albert! Hi Lisa! Hi Alam niyo ba kung anong ginagawa niyo rito? Nandito po kayo dahil kayo po ay nasa wish ko lang. <laughs> <laughs> Bakit? Bakit ko naiya? Hindi ko po akalain. <laughs> ano akala mo? Hindi ko po akalain na makikita ko po kayo. First time po. Sa Albert, saan kayo kumukuha ng lakas? Patong-patong na ho itong mga problema ninyo. Sa akin po eh, mahirap sa ngayon eh. Hindi na ako makapagsalita sa sobrang bilat. Kumbra po, kumbra po. Uh, eh, simula nung nag-lockdown, hindi talaga ako napasok. Hanggang nakarating kami sa ganitong sitwasyon, wala na talaga. Pero salamat pa rin ako sa Diyos kasi nabigyan pa ako ng pangalawang buhay. Kami na nasawa ko, nakala ko mamamatay na aming dalawa. Tinanong ko po sa mga bata po kung paano na kami, kung paano kayo makapagsimula po. Alam ko may inihanda ng pamahalang lungsod, ng tahanan para sa inyo, di ba, na paglilipatan nyo. So ngayon naman, hayaan nyo na kami naman ang maglalaman ng bahay na yun, ha? Ready na ba kayo? Sige. Okay, one, two, three, go! Ayan ho. <laughs> Babangon kayo, alam ko yan, kasi alam ko masisipag kayo. Mabubuti yung mga loob nyo, ha? Hindi ko inasahan na tutulungan nyo kami. Siguro may plan talaga ang Diyos para sa inyo, ha? <tinyo> Dahil alam namin na wala ng trabaho si Tatay Albert, handog namin sa kanya ang isang bread and pastry business at ang trending ngayong chili garlic negosyo. Pastry set. Pwede na kayo maging pastry chef, mag-bake. Ito, mga hopya, mga iba-ibang products po. At para lalong mag-level up ang talent ni Tatay Albert sa pagluluto, bibigyan din namin siya ng libreng training sa baking. Colejo de San Gabriel Arcangel sa Sapang Palay City of San Jose del Monte, Bulacan. Ay, nagbibigay po ng scholarship award para sa inyo, ha? Para sa full scholarship to study Bread and Pastry Production. Ayan. Di mag-aaral kayo uli. Ha? <laughs> Hindi lang yan. Kami na rin ang bahala sa pag-aaral ng kanilang panganay. Bukod sa Wi-Fi at tablet, may regalo rin kaming college scholarship mula sa Kolehyo de San Gabriel Arcangel. Di ba, nasa online schooling tayo ngayon, di magagamit na ito. Ha? Para sa anak niyo. Wala na ano din. Yung ano din. Laptop na ano, pang-schooling eh. Siyempre, kompleto yan. Dapat may wifi din. Para sa inyo. Maraming pong salamat po. Pagilang nagsama-sama May marasakit sa kapwa
first thing shall be added unto you.
mismo sa rigid dream Sinimulan with purity Now heading to university Tulad ng aranghel Tayo na't abutin